Hey everyone, I'm Tara Melton with Magnet Forensics. Today we're going to be talking about some features of the newly released Axiom Cyber and how it can help you in some of your examinations. In this video, we're going to be looking at how Axiom Cyber can help in an incident response investigation. I have Axiom Cyber open and I've already deployed the agent from Axiom Process and connected to the remote system that I want to investigate. In case you missed it, we released another video tutorial of going through the entire remote acquisition process, so if you'd like to see what that looks like, I encourage you to check out that video as well. In an IR investigation, you might want to use the remote acquisition capability of Axiom Cyber not only to acquire the remote endpoint or specific files or folders from the remote endpoint, but also to collect data from the volatile memory as well. Axiom Cyber gives the examiner the ability to collect individual running processes that may be of interest, or you can collect the entire memory dump from your remote workstation as well by switching this option here at the top. Now I'm going to switch over to examine and you can see that I already have my case processed with both my endpoint and RAM collected by Axiom Cyber. I'm going to navigate to the artifacts view and then go to the memory artifact category. As you may know, we've integrated Volatility, the popular command line memory analysis tool, into our processing with Axiom, which includes the plugins that you see here on the left of the screen. Looking at the output for PS list, we might come across some processes that look, look like they could be malicious. For example, I flagged this process here as it doesn't look like a running process that I would normally see within my enterprise. To investigate it further, I might want to do a quick search for this name across all of my artifacts. And once I do, you can see that there's a bunch of hits um, from the memory output, but I also see some hits from the operating system artifacts from the user's endpoint as well. We see an entry in the auto run items referencing an executable file with the same file name, which could be something we look into further as potentially persistent malware. We can also narrow down entries from the USN journal and dollar sign log file, which can sometimes take a lot of time to go through and analyze. From the dollar sign log file, you're able to build connections from anything that you see this icon next to, making analysis much easier to see how your artifacts are related. I'm going to build it off of this MFT record, for example, in this case. And you can see other potentially malicious file names that may also be additional indicators of compromise in this examination. And I can even expand on these connections from one of these file names and show that this file was downloaded from this website here, which could possibly be the infection vector. So you can see how remote acquisition of both endpoints and memory uh, with Axiom Cyber, along with analyzing both of these evidence types in one case with volatility integration, can be really beneficial in an IR investigation. We hope you check out Axiom Cyber today. Thanks for watching.